kids my name's Sonia and it's so good to be with you this week again on kids TV this month of March we've been thinking all about family a couple of weeks ago we thought about how we're all part of the big family of God our wider church family and we encouraged one another didn't we on that week last week we were thinking about baptisms and how getting baptized saying yes to baptism is a way of saying sure I want to be part of God's big family well in families do you think we all get on all the time with no problems? Yeah? No, we don't, do we? In families, whether that's our families in our homes, whether that's our wider church family, we sometimes find we disagree with people. We might hurt people, people might hurt us. We might get sad or angry or upset. Well, that happens and today we're thinking about forgiveness. How important it is to forgive one another. Why don't you turn to me for this week's passage, turn with me for this week's passage in the Bible. It can be found in Luke chapter 15 and it's verses 11 to 32. It's going to be on the screen. So pause the video, grab your Bible because I'd love you to read along with us. Or if you haven't got one, it'll be on the screen for you to watch it now. So in that passage we read about that story, you probably have read it before, about the prodigal son. And Jesus is telling that story to his disciples, the people around him listening. And he's saying, isn't he, that the father in the story is God and the son is like you and me. We want to wander off from God sometimes. We want to go and do our own thing. But God will always love us, always welcome us back with open arms, just like the father did in that story. It would have been really easy for the father not to forgive his son, to think, I'm not going to forgive you. You've gone off. You've wanted to do this. You've spent all my money. You've not cared about the family back at home. But no, he loves him so much that he forgives him. And that's exactly what God does with us. He loves us so much that he forgives us no matter what's going on, because his love is bigger and wider and taller and deeper than anything we can possibly think or do that's not in line with him those things that are sinful and sometimes those things that we do are just about us and sometimes they're things that we do for other people against other people or sometimes people can do things against us things that make us sad things that make us hurt a few years ago when my children were a bit younger my daughter had done a lovely picture just like this one here can you see that and one of her younger brothers, who didn't really understand, came along with a crayon and started scribbling all over a lovely picture that she'd done. And then it got a bit torn and a bit scrunched up and messed up. And her lovely picture that she'd drawn was no more. She was really fed up and cross about that. She was angry. She was sad. But she actually learned to forgive her brother. She said, I'm really 
that he said, I'm really sorry, and she forgave him. Because actually, if she hadn't forgiven him, she would have been the one who would have been trapped, who wouldn't have had peace. She could have stayed really angry about this for ages and ages and ages. She could have been so, so very cross. But no, she thought, I don't want to be like that anymore. I don't want to be carrying around this anger and this sadness about what he's done. I want to have peace in my life. I want to feel better about it. So she forgave him, which helped him, but also helped her. Now, Jesus knows how hard it is for us to forgive people. Uh, in Matthew chapter 21, let me just find it in my Bible if you've got yours. No, sorry, Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Peter says to Jesus, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. You see, Jesus knows sometimes we have to forgive people more than once. It's something that we have to choose to do, sometimes daily, because actually not forgiving, unforgiveness keeps us trapped up inside. I want to feel the kind of peace that comes with having Jesus in my life. And I want to be someone who wants to be more like him. I want to love people the way that God loves me. I'll never be able to do that as much as God loves me, but every day I'm going to try to be more like him. So that means trying to be like the father in the story that we read today. Trying to welcome people and love them, even if they've hurt us. Now, that doesn't mean that anything goes, does it? That doesn't mean that people can keep hurting us and hurting us and we're supposed to just say, okay, that's fine. That's not what it means. But it does mean that actually forgiving in our heart, which is a hard thing to do sometimes if someone's really, really hurt us, that's hard to do, but we can actually feel peace and we can feel released if we say, God has helped me forgive that person. It's a hard thing to do, but with Jesus, we can do amazing, impossible things. So why don't you try that a little bit this week? Whether it's something small like this, whether it's something that's a bit bigger, we can try and forgive people and love people in the way that God loves us. See you next week for Kids TV.